We're at my house tonight for no heat. This old girl was installed in 85. In my opinion, knowledge of oil has pretty much gone out the door in the last 10 years. And there's a reason for that. Oil heating is not very popular anymore. It's very expensive. The only reason I have this is because we moved in last year. I'm waiting to replace it with a heat pump. Now, I haven't cleaned this this year. My fault. Right now, the primary is off. Let's take a look here and see what I got going on and why we don't have any heat. This primary here has a 45 second lockout on it. So if it doesn't ignite in 45 seconds, it will trip. So right now it is trip. So we'll clean this burner, replace the nozzle pump strainer and completely clean the burner assembly itself. Pull my transformer back, 7 16 wrench for the port line, pop that up. Make sure you put this on here. Take a look, definitely dirty. So I'm gonna clean this up, check the retention head, which it is broken. Okay, ain't looking too good. Definitely a little rough. What I'm gonna do here is clean it up good with some carb cleaner and some steel wool. I grew up on oil, I love it. Some people hate it. Nothing like that smell of that brake cleaner. Make it look brand new. Anytime you're working on oil, it should be a common practice. Nozzle filter strainer. Nozzle filter strainer. No matter what. No heat. Nozzle filter strainer. Why we do that? Because we avoid callbacks doing that. Take the time. Replace the nozzle. Check your electrodes. Check everything. Make sure she's good to go. Three quarter. Five eighths. New nozzle. 85 ADA. Next, what I'm going to do is take the pump strainer out of here. Replace that. Hold the top. Oh, at the top, baby. Oil is messy. No doubt. This thing is just siphoning fuel right out of my tank. I should probably put a valve on this. I did not. But that's why you're here. Tell me about my mistakes. Yes, please tell me I should have put a valve in line. Obviously, if this was at a customer's house, I would have went about this process way differently. If you're doing oil, this stuff's your friend. New nozzle, new pump screen. I checked my electrodes. Now, typically when I'm doing a cleaning like this, I would check my burner coupling, clean my squirrel cage, clean this entire burner out. Get my nut, do not over tighten these. Port line, 7 16 Make sure my electrodes are good. We're gonna turn the power on and we're gonna start her up. Reset the primary. I like to trip the primary because when you go to a no heat like this, in a typical situation, your chamber is going to be full of oil. That customer most likely pressed that restart button three or four times before they called you. So let it fire off, burn all that excess fuel out, and then hit the restart. If this was anyone else's house, we would have cleaned the smoke pipe, took it completely off, brushed it out, done a smoke test, efficiency test. My family has heat tonight. If it goes out again, it's on me. 